In today's video, we're going to take a tour of our accessible balcony cabin on the MSC Meraviglia. That's coming right up. This is a handicap accessible balcony cabin on the MSC Meraviglia. And as we look at this room, the one thing I believe is this is a standard size room where they have just taken out some of the uh, normal space for furnishings to make space for the bathroom. Because other than the bathroom and the doorway, there's not a lot about this cabin that I would class it. For example, when you watch the Cheryl wheel out toward the balcony, you'll see she hits a bump there that's hard to get over and she'll get over it. The balcony door is not particularly easy to open. She's gonna struggle doing it, but she can get it open. But the space between the bed and the wall is just barely wide enough for her wheelchair. I don't know that you could get a mobility scooter out there. I don't know there's some space on the balcony even for a mobility scooter. They built this wooden ramp, and we'll get a little better look at it here in a minute that uh, is how you get up to the balcony and then they built like a, a wooden platform out there on the balcony so you can see the wooden ramp there but it's got a pretty good sized lip because i'm going to drop down you can take a look at it. it's got a pretty good sized lip when you hit it and then on the right side there you'll notice that it, it drops off it's just a ramp and so what happens is if you're on that side of the bed which is where i got to sleep when you try to get out, about half the time you're going to stub your toe on the ramp, which is just not particularly pleasant. So we get another look at the mini bar as I start to open the door into the, the bathroom is good. They did a, a good job in the bathroom. You have a transfer uh, shower seat. You have plenty of rails. There's a lot of clearer space underneath the cabinets. You have a shaver plug. And so in general, I would say that there's good storage there. There's good, everything really about the bathroom was fine. You have your typical amenities. You got the handheld shower. All of those things worked really well that you notice on the door, the, the place to hang your towel was at the right height, which again, all of that was very good. Now here I'm trying to get into the closet and I couldn't because the uh, safe door was open, which, uh, is a little bit of a nuisance. You have to stick your hand in from the other side. Fought with it for a couple of minutes to get in. You got a couple of shelves. You have a couple of drawers, but not what I would consider a lot of space. I would say too, that if you look where the television is, and we'll look at that again in a minute, what you find, and you'll see Cheryl going in with her wheelchair, is that the, again, the bathroom works well with a wheelchair. She's looking around, she can get up to the sink okay. So all the way around, as she looks at it, we're quite happy with the bathroom. The bathroom was the only thing that worked really well for a wheelchair in this cabin. As we come out of the bathroom, we'll take a look around. You see where the TV is? It's across the room from the bed. So if you're trying to lay in bed, and especially if you're on the far side of the bed, it's miserable to watch TV. And there's the what's stocked in the mini bar. You had the little stool to sit on, as I mentioned earlier, which is very uncomfortable. You have the narrow gap between the bed and the wall, and you also only have two outlets, which were right there on the cabinet. There are two drawers for storage. There's a couple of small shelves. The closet was a little different than usual in that it has an upper and a lower rod instead of the pull down rod that you find on most cruise lines. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just different. As we look over by the bed, the reading lights are really nice, but there's no USB port. And as we get the video small in the upper corner there, if you click the picture of my face, it'll subscribe you to the channel and the big arrow is pointing at a box that has a recommended video for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.